Coming up next on Secrets of Louisville, chefs, you're going to learn from the city's best how to make award-winning shrimp and grits and enduring stuffed chicken from one of Louisville's favorite restaurants in Linden, the Corner Cafe. From Kitchen Theater at Sullivan University, this is Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live with your host, Kentucky's own Kevin Harden and America's Chief Entertaining Officer, Tim Laird. Here now, ready to reveal the secrets, Kevin Harden. Hi everybody and welcome to Kitchen Theater. I'm Kevin Harden and you're in for a treat today. Randy Frederick from one of Louisville's longtime restaurants in Linden is in the house sharing his secrets to some family favorites that go back years. Can't wait to get those started. What do you say? Chicken stuffed with andouille sausage as well as some shrimp and grits. You're learning the secrets right now. Let's start the show with our host, Tim Laird. Hello, Kevin. Oh, hi. Woo! Wow, what a, look at, how about a crowd? Oh, man, You got them all fired up, Kevin. We always say that the show and how this goes over the next half hour really depends on the audience because they give us energy. They Truly, do. They I'll do. tell you, a great audience today. They're excited. Actually, they're excited to taste all the food that chef's going <laughs> right. to prepare. So anyway. If they're having a good time, we're having a we good time. We are having a good time. And everybody at home is going to have a good time because they're going to learn from one of the city's best. Unbelievable. He is incredible chef. I'm going to step out of the way. All right, Kevin. All right. It's a great day to be in Kitchen Theater, everybody. You bet. All right. I am excited today. He was actually on this show uh, for the 10th year anniversary. So here he is, Randy Frederick from the Corner Cafe, Chef. <laughs> How are you, Chef? Good. Nice to see you. Wow. How about that? 10 years ago you were on the show. Yes, when sir. they just started. Yep. You it's kicked like us off, and uh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And in the same time, the uh, Corner Cafe has grown considerably since then. You know, we started, uh, well, 27 years ago. We had, uh, it was only 820 square feet. The kitchen was, was it no bigger than this right here. So, and then we only had sat about 30 people. So it was a Corner Cafe, but now it's like three blocks long. Then we moved about three quarters <laughs> mile down the street, a little strip center. We started off with just a kitchen, a bar, and dining room. Then basically we've taken up like five storefronts. Wow, that is great. And that's great to hear, especially in the business and for you guys to be around all that time in our town. So what do we need to start out with, Chef? The stuffed andouille stuffed chicken with a spicy pear of gravy. And we're going to get get the pears, get that started. We do a little caramelization with those. We're going to add a little broth. And then we're going to just caramelize those. I have to say a little sugar to them just to get it going. Sweeten, it, sweeten, it, sweeten them up a little bit more. And while that's going, we're going to get together the little uh, little trinity of love that's going to go into that. Looks like a little butter there. A little butter, front. onion, celery, and green peppers. And we're going to let that saute up for just a little bit. And that's going to go in the pears after they, they get caramelized. And then we're going to puree those. Excellent. Now we're going to go to the stuffing. A little more butter. Of course. Look at that. That's what's nice. When you clarify it, you, you take all the uh, uh, fat off yeah. there, and then you can get a higher smoke point on this. Yeah. And okay. then again, more green peppers, onions. Wow, I can smell these pears already, Chef. I mean, oh my gosh. A little celery. And, of course, garlic. And, and the andouille sausage. And that's I love Andu. It's got a little spiciness to it, a little I, kick. I went ahead and got uh, got all that all ground up. And basically, I use if you notice, I use uh, actually I ship it in from actually Louisiana, actually Paul Perome's, and you can tell the texture of it, you know, because basically you know like sausage is not ground. This has got you know, and I even pureed this just like for about two seconds. So you see the good chunks in it, and it you know it's got a lot more texture, flavor. A little cayenne in there. I mean, the sausage has actually, you know, got a nice flavor. I mean, excellent flavor with, uh, and then, uh, and it's got a little heat, but, you know, we want to just kick it up a notch. And you can see the pears are just starting to caramelize. They are. And I'll tell you, that was a good secret. Just a little bit of sugar on the top, and that helps, uh, it helps get more of that caramelization going on. Yeah. It sweetens it up just a little bit because... If sometimes if pears aren't, if you want too ripe of pears on here, right? No. You're going to put it in there, so you need a little more sweetness to kick up the uh, the pears. Now we'll add some uh, 
that trinity to there. That's what we're looking for. That's nice. Take just a little broth. Add that to there. Is that just a little chicken broth? Yeah. Or beef? Okay. Chicken broth. Well, actually, it's a mm. vegetarian broth. Oh, okay. We get a lot of vegetarians, and we use that like in oh, some good. of the so sauteed the dishes. And, so you, you know. do some vegetarian dishes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Lots of it. So the stuffing here, and now we're going to go ahead and add some more broth to that. Another thing, some some of those uh, broths can be so salty. I mean, just, you know, that's uh, not good. Yeah. Let that keep going. We'll go ahead and get the pear gravy ready to go. If I would have known you bring bringing a blender, I could have made a margarita today to start us off at. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been there. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets <laughs> revealed. <laughs> And it is five o'clock somewhere. Oh, <laughs> it is. Look, Chef's watch says five all the time. Look at that. I like that. That's so why I'm not shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh. You, you really do know the premise of Secrets of Louisville Chef's Live. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we get to find out about Chef Randy Frederick? And then it's, you take all that, puree it up. And then there's your pair of gravy. Very nice. Then we're gonna come over here and finish up the stuffing. Add a little breadcrumbs just to bind it up together. Uh, looks like about it. Oh, I got hot. So just uh, pureed breadcrumbs, is that yeah, what that just, is? Yeah, just, just a seasoned uh, breadcrumbs. Kind of gives it a little thickness to it. Mm -hmm. Just to tighten it up. And there we go. All right. And then. Well, at home, you would let this cool down before you stuff it into the raw chick. <laughs> then we're going to take our take your stuffing. There we go. And then flip that over and drizzle a little butter. Oh, of course. Yes. On top of that. Oh, yeah. And then actually, we make this. It's like a Diane spice, basically like a, you know, blackening seasoning or like, you know, you can... Paul Perdomes, you know, you can, you know, it's just basically like black pepper, white pepper, cayenne pepper, thyme, parsley, oregano. There's a few other things in there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Colonel, give us all the, all the, uh, <laughs> And there we got your chicken breast. So that's going to go to the oven. What temperature, Chef? We're going to put that in the oven for 350. It should take right about just 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, all yep. right. So. And then uh, you're ready to go. Then. Get your plate. Get ready for the plate up. And then once it's about ready to come out, out of the oven, get your warm pair of gravy. Oh, nice. So that's going to be the base. Yeah. Perfect. That looks great, Chef. There we go like oh. that. So it's been 20 minutes, Chef. And there it is. Look at that. It's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, that is a serving. I mean, that is... And Incredible. we serve that along with the, you know, basically, you know, you get a couple of sides like rice and whatever the veggie of the night is. Beautiful. This is absolutely fabulous. And Dewey stuffed chicken with a little pear gravy. <laughs> wow. Don't go anywhere. More secrets of Louisville chefs when we come back. Randy Frederick sharing the secrets to the award winning shrimp and grits. And our very own Tim Laird, the CEO, chief entertaining officer. He's mixing up a mango mojito that you're going to want to learn how to make yourselves when we come back on Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. I'm Kevin Harnett. You've been watching Chef Randy Frederick from Corner Cafe prepare wonderful andouille stuffed chicken. And now, what's gone from a one page menu has more than tripled in the last 27 years. And up next, it's a favorite among many folks here in our city. It's shrimp and grits from the Corner Cafe. So, those secrets coming up now as we bring back our host, Tim Laird. All right, Kevin. Yeah. How about that andouille sausage oh, stuffed wow. chicken? 
pear gravy. Who would have thought of that? Oh my God, Chef Randy Frederick. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, you, you've the Corner Cafe has been around so long. It's in Linden. It's grown over the years. And if there's one thing that comes out of there, it's how good the shrimp and grits are. Award-winning, as you said. And you know what? What's great about that is Chef's going to share the secrets for all of us. So maybe we can do it at home. <laughs> right. All right. Thanks. I'll tell you what, Chef Randy Frederick. Award-winning shrimp and grits. Yeah. A couple times. A couple right. times, yes. not more than one. It's yeah. got all the ribbons out here and all the gold medals and, and everything else. Plaques, yeah. What do we start out with, Chef? Actually, let's start off with, uh, we're gonna get the grits going. We're gonna do, uh, I do half, you know, heavy whipping cream, and then a whole thing, and then it's on the broth. And get that going. And that is the, the real whipping cream, you can tell. Yeah. Look at that. A little I heavy mean, whipping that's... cream. Yep. And then we'll add a little butter. <laughs> of course, because the cream wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> now I see where the award winning <laughs> comes from. Cream and butter. That is it. That's the way it goes, baby. <laughs> I know. Now, we're going to start on the red-eye gravy. And I got, uh, you know, coffee. With, actually, with, with, I went ahead and put it in here. There's ham base. You can get from like most of your specialty stores, and actually Kroger's carries it. That's the little secret. I take the coffee and a little ham base, put that in there, and then we're gonna wow. eat in about the same amount of broth. So we got the, the red eye gravy, we've got a little butter. We're gonna add a little flour now. And just get a little roux going. It's about ready to boil. Look at that, you know, usually when I do that, it starts to lump up. There's, a, there's absolutely no lumps in this. How do it? How'd that happen, Chef? I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> use a whip. Oh, use the whip. Okay. He's probably using a knife going, mm. yeah. <laughs> I need one of these. Yeah, this is go. a secret. Okay, so that's about right to start the bowl. And we'll just kind of thicken that up a little bit. Said a little rude. I sort of did a little backwards. People, you know, pretty much self taught. Oh, we, yeah, because uh, I guess a lot of times they make the roux in the pan, then put the yeah. liquids in. Yeah. And that's why you get lumps. That's why yours weighs better. Well, that was the other thing. I mean, basically back when I was a kid, there were six kids, and my mom and dad, they both worked. So basically we had to have dinner on, one of the kids had to cook every night. So basically we had to have dinner on the table every night at 5.30. Well, my dad walk in, had this fall city, and <laughs> and, and, and what's the dinner? <laughs> then have another fall city. <laughs> or, actually, it was pretty much whatever the beer of the month was. Could have been, <laughs> could have, could have been Paps, Fall City, Schlitz. It, it, you know what's amazing about Some that? Some of these beers you all probably don't even remember. It, 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 what's PBR. funny about that is they're, they're, all those beers are coming back in style now. I know. I Who would have thought? I used to sit there and go up. And, I mean, actually, they got up to the liquor store up in St. Matthews. You know, they. I'd go up there when I was on my bike with a basket. They'd give me the beer to take home. <laughs> <laughs> really? More secrets to be all. <laughs> That's why we like the show, gang. <laughs> you never know. Now, kids, don't be doing this at home. You can't go to the liquor store with your bicycle. <laughs> well, actually, I went to the back door. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, we got that boiling. Boy, things are thickening up here. <laughs> I like that. There you go, Tim. Oh. We're going to add uh, the grits to your, our heavy cream and broth and butter. Those are going in. It's... Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> well, I'm sitting there thinking, so basically, I use it because, like, one of those, one of those, two, whatever. Yeah. Two to one. Two to one. Oh, Liquid well, to grits? Yeah. And the grits are about ready to get there. Turn those down and simmer them just for a minute. Well, that happens in a hurry. We're going to turn that down. Boom. Okay. And then now we're going to start getting to the shrimp. Got a little butter. Of course. <laughs> Chef's secret ingredient at the Corner Cafe. And pork fat. And pork fat. <laughs> I love pork fat. Let me tell you, you're going to be around for another 26 years. That is great. That's the secret to success. Okay, and then we get, uh, got your shrimp, salt in, and a little butter. And just a little, I mean, I just, as you see, I didn't really put a lot. Just enough to worry, to get it cooking, because you, like you said, you got your butter in here, you got your butter in here. <laughs> you got your butter in here. <laughs> and, and those will cook up quickly. I know that. Yeah. Especially in a nice hot skillet like that. 
a lot of people don't realize that you know it'll continue to cook too, even out of the pan. So yeah. That, the fresh uh, Kentucky country ham, Finchville. Get that in there. A little scallions. Get that going. Yeah, we want flame. Beautiful. Those shrimp cooked up a little bit because I'm sure somebody's going to eat these right after this. Oh yeah, they definitely will do a little tasting. You know, I could I could put a little bourbon on top of that too. Yeah, I mean, I've seen you. Know, why is she though? I mean, He's going, why, why are you doing that? Drink it. Now, what are you throwing in the pan for? Eh? Nothing a little old foe won't take care of. <laughs> okay, so we got the shrimps, and let's get, uh, then also it's pretty much about done, and add your red eye gravy. There goes the red eye. Oh, look at that. Whew. Wow. You're getting some oohs and ahs out there, chef. That, uh -huh. They must like it. And we're about ready to row here. Let's get some, do a little tidying up. That's about ready to row. Then get your grits. Got the grits. That's our base, right? There you go. All oh, perfectly done. Look at the consistency. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they are creamy, as they would say. Yeah. I can tell even from over here that those look absolutely fabulous. And then pour it right over it. Oh, yeah, the oh, yeah, I can hear the oh, hear that? Oh, my God. And there we go. Wow. Fantastic. Just looking at it, Chef, I, I can see why it's it's a multi-award winning uh, recipe. Chef Randy Frederick from the Corner Cafe. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Great to have you back on the show again. Stay with us because I have a wonderful mango mojito coming up and there's no muddling involved. So stay with us for more Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live! The show is coming to an end, and Dewey stuffed chicken, the famous shrimp and grits. You've seen it from Chef Randy Frederick from the Corner Cafe in Linden. And now is the all-important time where it's like judgment time all of a sudden. The chef has prepared the award-winning shrimp and grits. Peggy is here. Your first time at our show. Yes. Well, we appreciate you being here. And you've been the lucky one chosen out of the studio audience to take a taste. Now, I said, on a gauge of shrimp and grits, you know, are you a fan? And your response was in the commercial break. My first time. First shrimp time for having shrimp and grits. So what a better time than now to, uh, ha you know, this will set the standard okay. for, for all the times to come. Go ahead, take a taste. The yeah. shrimp, the grits, uh, you've seen it made with the um, wonderful gravy, red-eye gravy. <laughs> yeah? Oh, delicious. You said you were a shrimp fan and a grits fan, so now the shrimp Ooh, and the grits. gravy is awesome. Good enough for another bite? <laughs> Yeah. Jump on in. That is yours. Peggy, thank you very much. We uh, have had a great time here, Tim. All of the folks in this uh, kitchen theater here have enjoyed the uh, wonderful recipes from Chef Randy Fred. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, uh, everyone could be a part of our studio audience. How do we do that? It's easy to do. It's newlocaltv.com. There you'll find not only the recipes for the show, but you'll also find a complete restaurant guide and a way to sign up to come and be a part of our audience. <laughs> yeah, I love easy that. Easy enough. Excellent. This is a fun part of the show. This is now, Kevin, this is a mango mojito and usually when you you make a mojito you gotta uh, muddle the mint right. and all the, the limes and everything else this is simple no muddling in involved um, I'm gonna start out with a glass of ice about two ounces of Finlandia mango infused vodka so our mangoes there and then <laughs> you just yeah. can't see it <laughs> I know it's it's there so trust there's me the mango. and then about a half ounce of fresh freshly squeezed uh, lime juice goes in, and then about three ounces of mint simple syrup. So that's where that mint comes in. Uh, no muddling, just like you're making a simple syrup, one part uh, uh, water, one part sugar, and then one part mint. That goes in and top with a little bit of club soda. No butter. That, no butter. It gives a little effervescence. Just checking. A nice little mint spray. Look at that. Boom. There it is. Let's see how we did. Kevin, I made one uh, already for you. Well, thank you. Check out. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Let's see how we did. Oh, wow. That. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Just that right there. Wow. Mm -hmm. you, you pretty much just need the bottle and the ice. <laughs> That's it. 
No muddling it's involved. It's like easy. I know. I like easy drinks. I do too. And that's as easy as it gets. The mango. Tim, that's mojito. fantastic. Delicious. Absolutely. What a great show today. Really, it is. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate that. And we want to thank everybody at home for watching. You've been watching Secrets of Louisville Chefs live from the campus of Sullivan University, where we always reveal the secrets to some of Louisville's great chefs. As Tim mentioned, either to be a part of our studio audience or to find the recipes, check them out online at newlocaltv.com. For Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harnett, and on behalf of all of us at BNB Productions, we'll see you next time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. <laughs>